This is a getting started tutorial for the Unity plugin Sparkler, Spawn Particles Anywhere. You can add the benefits of Sparkler to your scene in just a few short steps. Firstly, we need a Sparkler Manager. This is just an empty game object with the Sparkler Manager script attached to it. The next step is to add particles as children underneath the Sparkler Manager. I have two particles here that I've already created, the Muzzle Flash and Smoke. Once you've added these particle effects, we need to add a Sparkler Agent to each of them. So I'm going to click Add Component and then Sparkler Agent. Notice that the Agent has emission settings including a min and max emission amount. These override the emission settings from the base particle effect. So make sure you set these numbers up similar to the settings in the particle effect. I'm going to do the same thing to the other particle, Add Component Sparkler Agent, check its emission settings and set these up to be similar. Alright, now we have our Sparkler Manager and our Sparkler Agent set up, all we need to do is invoke them through code when events happen. I want the muzzle flash to occur when the player shoots, so I'm going to open up the player script and find the line where the player shoots, which is here under update when they instantiate a bullet prefab. To have the Sparkler Manager create a particle emission alongside this happening, we can type cardboard keep dot sparkler manager dot emit. You can also type using cardboard keep at the top of your script alongside Unity Engine, and then you just need to type sparkler manager dot emit each time you use it. The emit function has several overrides, the most common one being a string for the agent name and a vector 3 for the position to spawn at. The agent name is simply the game object name. So in this case, I can provide muzzle flash. As for a position for where the, mu the uh, particles are going to spawn, let's use the player's position with transform.position. If I go back to my game now, wait for the code to compile, and then run the game, you can see the particles emit each time I shoot. However, they're not spawning correctly, they're spawning facing upwards. So let's have a look at one of the other overrides of the emit function. Override number 4 takes a vector 3 from up direction, and as you can see here it says it faces the emitters up towards a vector before emitting. Let's face this towards vector 3 dot right. Now if I run my game, the particles will be aligned rightwards and the effect will happen in the correct direction. Let's look at one more example. When the bullets hit the wall, I want them to emit the smoke particle effect. So if I open up the bullet script and find where the bullet collides with the wall, which is this on collision enter function, I can add the same line again and say cardboard keep dot sparkler manager dot emit. And this time the agent name will be smoke. And we can provide the position of the collision as the emission point, as other dot contacts zero dot point and now if I return to my game we can see that when the bullets hit the wall smoke effects are played again we could align these using the same method we did with the muzzle flash one important thing to keep in mind is for these particle effects to be able to happen at different points in your world instantaneously, you should make sure that the simulation space is set to world. If it's set to local, when each particle is emitted, the other particles that came before it can get moved around and have odd behavior. This was just a short overview of the Sparkler in its current state. You can find Sparkler on the Unity Asset Store. There's a link in the description below, as well as links to our other plugins. If you've got any questions about this or our other plugins, you can leave a comment on this video or contact us at contact at cardboardkeep.com. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.